Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm the curator at the Fraser History Museum. I'm here today to bring you another history all around us as part of our virtual Fraser while we're shut down because of COVID-19. Today I'm going to talk to you about coverlets. I have this beautiful coverlet here uh, that my boyfriend and I have recently received from his parents who just downsized to a condo. So we got a lot of really cool family heirlooms. Uh, when, when they first showed us this, I got really excited because we have a really similar piece in our collection at the Fraser. Um, so this one, as you can see, was made in 1846. The one that we have at the Fraser was made in 1840. So they're really similar times. These coverlets were popular between 1771 and 1889 in the United States. Um, there are woven bed covers that were meant to be the topmost covering on your bed. The pattern was woven as part of the process. So this isn't, the pattern's not something that was applied on top. It was actually woven into the fabric um, using a loom. Um, and these were often made of wool and cotton and they were dyed using natural dyes. Um, so there's two main types of coverlets, those that were made by professionals and those that were made by amateurs. So most of the ones that were made by amateurs were made by women and those were just made for use in their home or made to barter with other people. Um, so these often feature geometric patterns, things that were a little bit easier to weave. This one, as you can see, has a really complex floral design and was probably made by, by this is Bentley, he's checking it out. Um, you can see that this one has a pretty complex floral design and it was probably made by a professional weaver who were mostly men at the time. Such complicated designs like these floral, like this floral motif, um, may have also included architectural designs or animals in the patterning. This particular coverlet, like I said, has been in my, my boyfriend's family for six generations. Um, so we're really excited to have it. If you have something like this at your house, maybe a coverlet like this or an old quilt, one thing that you can do to help preserve it for future generations of your family is to unfold it. Um, when you unfold it, you'll probably notice that it's folded in quarters, which is how it's like the easiest way to fold. It's the way we fold most things. But when we fold things over and over on these same lines, they start to deteriorate on those creases. So one thing you can do to help preserve it is to unfold it from its quarter fold and refold it in thirds. And that's gonna let us fold on different lines to help stop the creases going in the same spot over and over. So thanks for tuning in today. We can't wait to see you back at the museum. See you later.